kids, are you ready to make Irish soda friendship bread? I call it friendship bread because it is a bread to be shared with friends. It is such a delicious bread. It's very popular in Ireland. And the trick about this is it kind of throws people off because it doesn't use yeast. The magic and the science to this recipe is when you mix buttermilk with baking soda, it creates a chemical reaction that actually makes the bread rise in the oven. You don't have to use the batter to sit and let it rise outside of the oven. It actually does it inside the oven and it makes a really delicious bread. Now you can use raisins in it, I always do, but some people prefer not to have the raisins in it and that is fine too. Now I do wanna warn you that this is a sticky dough. It's not like a pizza dough where it's really easy to work with. It gets to be a sticky dough, but you're just gonna kind of use floured hands and then put it into your pan. Make sure your pan is greased. And then it's going to make an amazing, delicious bread, moist bread that rises in the oven. And then I always sprinkle some sugar on top because it doesn't have a lot of sugar in the recipe and it makes it more of like a sweet bread that you serve along with your meal. Enjoy this recipe, it is so, so good. To start our Irish soda friendship bread, I do have my four and a three fourths cups of flour here, but I wanna show you another way to make buttermilk using milk and vinegar. So we need a cup, I'm gonna take one cup of milk, Sometimes buttermilk can be a little bit hard to find. And sometimes it's a little expensive. So this is a way to so take three fourths cup of milk. So which is what it would be if you were just using buttermilk. But what you're going to do to curdle the milk, which is really kind of what buttermilk is, it's the, it's the milk that's left over after you make butter. I'm going to do two tablespoons of white vinegar. And then I'm going to stir that. I'm going to set it aside for about 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, you will see that this milk has started to curdle. You need the vinegar in this recipe because when it interacts with the baking soda, it will actually make it rise in the oven. All right, let's go ahead and work on our dry ingredients. I have four and three fourths cups of flour. I, I know this is a lot of flour, but it makes a huge loaf of bread. I'm taking one fourth cup of sugar because it is a slightly sweet bread. I have one teaspoon of baking soda and one fourth teaspoon of salt. And then using my whisk, I'm going to whisk that together really, really well. Making sure that baking soda gets distributed through all the flour because it has to interact with the buttermilk. I don't know if you've ever done those science experiments where you take vinegar with baking soda and it fizzes. Well, that's really kind of what happens in the oven making this bread because we're not using yeast. Okay, now I'm going to get a half a cup, which is one stick of cold butter, which I've cut into small pieces. Let me go show you. All right, so you can see I cut that cold butter into small little pieces, which I'm going to just now put into my flour. Kind of have to use your hands a little bit. And either using your hands or a pastry blender, we're going to make these into small little pea size pieces. You can do this with your fingers, you can use a pastry blender, you can use a fork. And what we're doing is we're just getting this butter to be all throughout our flour. The nice thing is that when it bakes, it actually is going to make it pockets of that butter. It's gonna make the bread very moist. I'm gonna set this aside. Now that I've got those, all those little pieces distributed around, you might need to get a spoon to get the other little pieces of butter off of it. Just like that. All those little pieces.
pieces. Okay, and then I like to use raisins, so I'm gonna take my one cup of raisins. That is the traditional way that they make the Irish soda bread. And we're going to coat our raisins with that butter and flour. Like that. Smell the raisins. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my milk. I can already start to see it curdling, and I'm going to crack one egg in there. I'm like making sure that my egg is room temperature. I'm going to crack my egg. Now you can make this recipe without an egg, but I like having it nice and soft. I can actually see this milk curdling up. Now here's the trick. Once I pour this liquid buttermilk into my flour, I have to get this bread into the oven as soon as possible so that the interaction between the baking soda and the buttermilk doesn't go bad and then it won't rise in the oven. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour my milk in, I've already turned my oven on to 400 degrees. And now I'm going to mix that. And it's going to make a pretty sticky dough. I have my pan, you need about a nine by nine pan. It can be round or square. And I put some butter down here just so it doesn't stick to the bottom. And here is my pretty sticky dough. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and put it into a ball. And as you can see, it's very sticky. So I have a little bit of flour on the side here. I'm just gonna flour my hands. Just gonna make it a little bit easier to pick up. you can see it's sticky. I'm just gonna form it into a bowl ball like this. Got a little bit of pieces over here. I'm just gonna form this into a big ball like that. So I have a knife here. I'm going to make a big cross. I'm gonna go pretty deep down and go across. And what that's going to do is it's going to distribute the heat a little bit more as the bread bakes. Now that I've got the crisscross, I'm gonna take a little bit of sugar. Do not use the whole four quarter cup. Just enough to sprinkle that on. And what's gonna do is gonna give it a nice crust, sugary crust on the outside. Now it's gonna go into the oven for 45 minutes. 